Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Layer by Layer. Today we're going to take a look at making the talking D20. So to create the D20 shape, I did some research on YouTube and I found this tutorial on how to make the icosahedron in Google SketchUp. And basically it uses a bunch of uh, rectangles to make sort of these guidelines to make the 20 equilateral faces that make up the shape, right? So if you take a look at this tutorial, you can see how easy it is to make it in SketchUp. You can use their pencil tool to sort of make these triangles and use the corners of the rectangles to make all of the different triangles. So in 123D, you really don't have that ability to do that, but you do have the ability uh, to make the sketches and to tweak solids uh, to make uh, different geometries. So I set up all of the rectangles and one thing to know is that these are sort of special rectangles. They're called golden rectangles and you can use a calculator uh, like this one here to figure out uh, what are the widths that you want. We had to uh, design around the components, right? We really used the Pro Trinket and the Audio Effects Board to determine how big it needed to be so that it can fit in there. So using this calculator, uh, I punched in 40 and I got 25. So that's the measurements we're using. Uh, in 123D. And I got an 8. So you can see here in 123D all the shapes uh, or all those sketches are oriented and, and uh, rearranged pretty much how it is in the tutorial here for the Google SketchUp. So to make triangles I can't use the uh, sketch tool but I can use solids and then tweak them. So I'll make a box here. And what I'll do is I'll make it 25 on the width, 20 on the height, center it in the, <laughs> in the center. So the first thing we need to do is we need to line up the cube with uh, this rectangle so we can just click on it and then just move it into into place there like so. So we need to bring in the two corners to make a triangle so to do that we can use the tweak feature under modify so under modify you can click on tweak so I'm gonna click on the corner here and then just bring it in until it reaches that rectangle so that's 12.5 and you'll see when I did that it creates sort of this new geometry and then we'll do the same thing uh, for the next part so I'll bring that in here by 12.5 Hit enter. Now we have our sort of triangle thing. The last thing we need to do is we need to uh, bring this edge with that one there. So I'll hit K again on my keyboard. Then we just bring it out by about I think 7.5 and hit enter. So now we have our first sort of triangle. So instead of using a solid to sort of create the whole shape, we'll project uh, a sketch from this surface and then we'll make a series of them to make the full final shape. So to do that I'll come up here to, to sketch and then go all the way to the right here and click on project. So whenever I click on a, a surface it'll make a sketch for that. So there I have my sketch and now we're, we're, we're free to sort of delete the shape because we really don't need it. We need to create another one to create all of the other uh, sketches. So really what you want to do is create just half of the shape. So here I have uh, 10 different triangles and they're all equilateral and they're all shaped and you know it's the half because it sort of creates the zigzag shape here. So now to make the solid we need to extrude just one of the triangles. We can uh, hide the rectangles by just clicking on them and then selecting hide to get them out of the way. So I'll click on one of the triangles and then come into extrude and then start pulling it inwards. First. So if you rotate around you'll see this little handle here and when you start pulling it outwards you can see it can either uh, flare out or it can taper inwards. We want to taper inwards so it's about 45 degrees and that creates our first shape. And if you look at it, it kind of looks like the, the 1, 2, 3D logo, right? We can start lofting between uh, the surface of the solid to the other sketches to create that half, uh, the half D20 shape. So to loft, we can just go under construct and then click on the loft button. And it doesn't matter which one you do, you can either do the sketch to the surface or the surface to the sketch. So I'll actually do both just to show you. Uh, that it's okay. Go from here to there and you can start seeing our, our uh, pentagons starting to take form. So all we need to do now is just sort of keep lofting until we have our final uh, half. Okay so here's what we came up with. All of the sketches have been lofted and we have sort of this half of our shape. So what you'll notice is that if you look on the center here you'll, you'll see this sort of point with all of these lines intersecting with it. One thing we need to do is we need to still sort of loft between sort of cavities so that we can close it. We can come up here into loft and then just sort of uh, loft the two surfaces that look like uh, they're uh, parallel with each other. So like this one and that one and then I'll do these two here and now you'll see we have one last little cavity thing and I can fix that by doing one last loft from here to here and then it just figures out the third shape for us which is really nice. So now we have our 
uh, our final half of shape here. Originally we created a shell and to do a multi-part shell we can just uh, hold down shift and select the four triangles here. So now if I hit J on my keyboard I can make a shell but you'll notice that uh, when I increase the thickness all the the edges create new geometries and we ended up not using this method because it's a little bit harder to manage so the next thing I'll show is how to duplicate the second half so all you really have to do is select the shape hit uh, copy and paste and then rotate it 180 degrees and then just shift it up by uh, 7.5 millimeters like that. So now we have our icosahedron shape. We can merge the two, print it out if we'd like. This is where we can start messing with the shape and adding um, numbers and, and fillets and things. In the next tutorial, we'll take a look how Phil B took the design, added fillets and numbers, and uh, created some speaker vents uh, so that the sound is really nice and loud. Real quick, we can see um, all the iterations that sort of went into it. So I was saying we didn't use a shell. We found that making it as a shell created all these weird geometries. So we created a new solid, shrunk it down, and then subtracted that from each half. Um, but we'll take a look at that next week. Leave your questions down in the comments, and I'll see you guys next week.